हेलो एवरीवन वी आर करंटली लिविंग इन अ डिजिटल एज वे आर ऑलमोस्ट एवरीथिंग इज ऑनलाइन एंड कनेक्टेड टू द इंटरनेट कीपिंग एवरीथिंग डिजिटाइज्ड सर्टेनली मेक्स लाइफ अ लॉट इजियर बट दिस इजीनेस कम्स विद सर्टेन कंसिक्वेंसेस हैकिंग इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट इश्यूज विद रिगार्ड्स टू कंप्यूटर टेक्नोलॉजी बट डोंट वरी एथिकल हैकिंग हैज कम अप एज अ प्रोफेशन टू काउंटर दिस इशू एंड दिस इज द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो एंड आई थिंक इट्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेवरेट टॉपिक्स ऑफ एवरी वन राइट सो लेट्स गेट स्ट्रेट इन टू इट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट एथिकल हैकिंग इट्स ऑल्सो नोन एज वाइट हैट हैकिंग और पेनीट्रेशन टेस्टिंग एथिकल हैकिंग इन्वॉल्व एन अथोराइज अटैम्प्ट टू गेन अनऑथोराइज एक्सेस टू अ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एप्लीकेशन और डेटा बेसिकली एथिकल हैकिंग इज यूज टू इम्प्रूव द सिक्योरिटी ऑफ द सिस्टम एंड नेटवर्क बाय फिक्सिंग द वर्नर एबिलिटी फाउंड वाइल्ड टेस्टिंग From a technical perspective, ethical hacking is the process of bypassing or cracking security measures implemented by the system to find out vulnerabilities, data breaches and potential threats. To do this, ethical hackers are hired by the organizations to identify security vulnerabilities in their systems and networks and develop a solution before malicious actor has the opportunity to exploit the system. Ethical hackers directly report all the vulnerabilities and weaknesses found during the process to the management. The proactive work they do helps to improve the protection level of an organization. Ethical hackers use the same tools, tricks and techniques that malicious hackers use but with the permission of authorized person. This is what ethical hacking is all about. Just keep in mind the main purpose of ethical hacking is to improve the security and to defend the systems from the bad actors and now if you ask me how many phases are there while doing ethical hacking well then there are five phases let's start with the first one reconnaissance or information gathering phase is an important phase of ethical hacking before executing any hack what they need to do is to gather some basic information about the target system or network The primary intention of this step is to plan a hack based on the exact technology and security measures implemented by the target system. It helps to identify which attack can be executed and how likely the organization system fall vulnerable to that attack. Data is collected using tools such as HTTP track, Nmap, Wireshark and so on. Scanning is the second phase in ethical hacking. where attacker tries to find out different ways to gain the victim's information such as user accounts credentials ip addresses etc the purpose of this step is to find easy and quick ways to access the system and skim for information tools such as port scanners network mappers vulnerability scanners and so on are used in the scanning phase to scan data gaining access the next phase in ethical hacking is where an attacker uses all means to get unauthorized access to the target system this means breaking into the system by cracking the password or by passing the security measures meta exploit is one of the most common tools used to gain unauthorized access maintaining access in this phase after gaining access ethical hacker continuously manipulates the system executes ddos attacks uses the hijacked system as a control center basically in this phase ethical hacker aims to maintain unauthorized access until he completes his malicious activities without the user knowledge backdoor and trojan tools are installed and left in the target system to retain access for future use if hacker doesn't leave then target system might implement a latest security update and he may have to execute the hack once again clearing track the last phase of ethical hacking requires to clear the track as no hacker wants to get caught it ensures that hacker leaves no clues or evidence behind that could be traced back it's important because ethical hackers need to maintain their connection in the system without getting identified by the incident response team this is done by removing backdoor deleting registry files and uninstalling applications and software that may lead to the attack 
being traced back to you and also deleting cache memory helps to erase the digital footprints these are the different types of ethical hacking web application hacking system hacking web server hacking hacking wireless networks and social engineering now what are the benefits of ethical hacking the most important benefit of ethical hacking is to prevent data from being stolen and misused by malicious hackers ethical hacking helps in discovering vulnerabilities from a hacker's point of view so that weaknesses can be fixed it helps in implementing a secure network that stops security breaches ethical hacking plays a vital role in defending national security by protecting data from terrorists ethical hacking enables organizations to earn the trust of customers and investors by assuring the security of their products and services now the most important part how to become an ethical hacker well if you are interested in the role of an ethical hacker it can turn out to be one of the most interesting career paths first of all you should have a bachelor or master degree in computer science information security information technology or data security and then you should have in depth knowledge about all the systems networks programming security measures operating systems knowledge of search engines and hacking tools to become an ethical hacker these are the common fields where you can start your career as an ethical hacker penetration tester information security analyst certified ethical hacker security consultant security engineer and so on many employers require ethical hackers to have certifications in addition to their degree and experience certified ethical hacker through ec council is among the most recognized industry certifications nowadays many private institutions are offering ethical hacking course even you can get online classes i would suggest if you want to learn ethical hacking you should complete a full ethical hacking course okay so here is final thought many people ask whether ethical hacking is legal or illegal yes it is legal as long as it's done with the permission of the owner to uncover flaws in the system and provide solutions to fix them all right so this wraps up today's video thanks for watching please hit the subscribe button